the, 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 the elites coming down with having great wrath, man. But Trump does, okay? Trump is an erratic individual that's, that, that's been fashioned by the elite banking families, man. He's more of that ilk, man, okay? He's more of that, you know, if you go to, let me put it to you another way, right? If you go into where you got a particular movement, okay, uh, 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 that you're, you're using mercenaries to en enact, right? When that thing really gets into high gear, okay, you might put a p person in, in, in that position that is uh, 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 fully manifest what you're trying to push towards, man. And Trump and Boris, they're, the, they're them guys, man. Okay, they're them guys that, that are, are in there. Let's say you're the, let's say you're setting up a, a, a takeover, right? Like you seen within the movie Batman. Okay, and Bane was enacting that takeover, but he he was what? He was he was the underling, right? And then it came out that what the, the other the other the, the, I mean, it, it kind of messed it up, but the chick was really the one that's in control. Okay, so that's that's what these elites are doing. They're stepping towards what? Letting the world know that we're the ones that are really in control of everything. So, it, or, or BZ is, 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 you know, or Barack Obama was a, a, a far cry, okay, from 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 um, from Trump, man. And so, so was uh, uh, May was a far cry from what? From 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 Boris, man. So the next ones that, that they, they they really want to uh, have probably is gonna is gonna be them, man. Because there is gonna come a time, okay, when these elites are gonna let you know, okay, we're the ones that are in power, we're the ones that are in control, man. We set this whole thing up, man. Okay. I continue when I stand upon my watch, as I'll set me upon a tower, and I watch to see what you say unto me, and what I sh or what shall answer when I'm reproved. Okay, and believe it or not, that sound you're hearing there is like two pigeons fucking up the whole audio, man. <laughs> right, and it says, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables. Okay, that he may run that readeth it, for the vision is yet from the point of time. So we read that within the book of um, uh, Acts. Okay, right when the disciples came onto your house, I said, "Look, well, you know, when when are, when are these times gonna be, right? All right, when we're gonna be in rulership?" Okay, as we into the book of Daniel, the two, second chapter, the forty-four verse, many other scriptures where you where you read about the Israelites being in power, man. Right? The, the, the disciples said unto him, "Look, when, when are these things are gonna? When are they gonna take take part?" Okay, and for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end they shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. For it shall surely come, it will not tarry. Okay, so that's you gotta be patient in, 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 in the hope of your house sight, man. You gotta be focused on the word of your house sight. Okay, that, that his words are gonna come to pass. Doth not the scripture say my, surely my word is gonna go out there, uh, but it ain't gonna return unto me void. Okay, so the word of the Lord ain't coming back unto him, okay, uh, 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 not fulfilling it, 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 it's just dues, man. Okay, uh, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but it shall at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, for it shall surely come and it will not tarry. Behold, his soul which is in him is not upright. Now, this makes me think about uh, uh, this scripture. Um, this makes me think about the book of Isaiah, the 47th chapter. Right? The scripture says that what does behold his soul which is in him is not upright, right? But a just shall live by faith. Okay? And that starts first and foremost with what? With the, with the, with the pride that he has. Okay, the scripture talks about the pride of Esau. Okay, and the scripture talks about how pride goes before destruction. And in addition to an, an upright spirit, what's the what's the what's the what's another word for upright? Okay, righteous, right? You know, what's the, so so what, 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 what's an example of the unrighteousness that he does to maintain his uh, society or the witchcraft that they, they were pushing out there, man? Through the media, okay, the, the elder of uh, uh, Yasha Wamba from uh, from the Dallas, he did a video exposing some of the uh, um, some of the uh, uh, hidden uh, meanings between uh, behind them uh, um, um, the images that they're pushing out there within the industry of of, of the Hindu god the goddess uh, Kali, okay, which which basically that's like a, the, the, the female demon, okay, that was that, that kills people, right? And that's what you basically get out there within that rap music. So he did the video. That was a beautiful video. It was very insightful, and the imagery that's associated to it, you can see it. You can see it feel it to, totally infiltrating. Okay, the, the music industry. Okay, so Esau pushes a hell of a lot of witch, and that's just one example. But of what? Of Esau pushing a hell of a lot of witchcraft out there onto the people through the TV, through the music, and many other forms of media. Okay. But most, most, most of all, what they do is they, they push out their particular prayers uh, through their, uh, through their, uh, through their witches. They push, push out their particular prayers and that man. 
Okay, that's what a lot of people don't realize, and that's why I made that examples. Okay, of, of, of what the particular strongholds that they have, and which they they do have a, a, a spiritual, a so-called stronghold on the left-hand side that they push out there through their uh, witches and wizards. Okay, that we're breaking down through the word of Yahweh Shimei Hashem going out there. Okay, so the book of Isaiah 47 and 1, it says, Come down and sit in the dust or virgin door of Babylon. The book of Psalms tells you that what? The door of Babylon was Edom. Let's quickly get that. It might be Psalms. I don't think I can remember off the top of my head. I'm going to search it. Okay. But basically, the door of Babylon is dealing with who? It's dealing with you red Hebrew Edomites. Right? Because every time you had a strong empire being set up, Esau was always in the mix, trying to get be on the come up. Okay, the, 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 the example that comes to mind right now is uh, uh, Haman uh, and the uh, media Persian Empire. Right, he was trying to get have it to where what they was gonna be um, the next rulers. But see, it wasn't time for them to, to rule like that. Okay, so guess what? The more side the more side had it to where Haman was exed out. Now you had it to where the, the media Persians were destroyed underneath um, Alexander the so-called Great. Okay, two battles, Granicus, Isis, and then eventually it was, uh, uh, ex uh, you know, they was taken out from power. Now the point I wanted to, there was a scripture I wanted to get there. Okay, uh, Edom and, and, and Babylon. To show you that the door of, uh, of Babylon is dealing with the, the red Hebrew Edomites. Okay, Edom, Babylon. This is the link up scripture. Right, okay, so <laughs> this could be it. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, the book of Psalms 137 we can start from the top it says by the river of Babylon where we sat down yea we wept and we remembered okay we hanged our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof okay and this was dealing with what this was dealing with the Babylonian captivity of Judah all right all right because you had the kingdom split up right the media the Assyrians came up and take they took down um they took down the uh the Latin-speaking tribe, the Northern tribe, but Judah was left there. Uh, that 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 uh, sentiment is echoed within the book of Hosea, the first chapter, around about the fifth verse. And then after you had it, um, the Northern Kingdom taken down, you had uh, Judah that was there. And after the Assyrians came, the Media Persians. Now the Media, per uh, no 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 no, my apologies. After the Assyrians came, the Babylonians. Now when the Babylonians were in prominence. Okay, they took. They managed to, uh, after a period of time, they managed to take down. Okay, the um, the kingdom of Judah. Okay, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, and they carried the the choicest ones off them into Babylon. That that again is uh, 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 echoed within the book of Daniel, the first chapter. And so, therefore, whilst there was a, the river at Babylon, they they what they remembered, they remembered home, man. Eh? Okay, but remember they spent seventy years out there within Babylon. Just a footnote. 70 years out there within the Babylonian captivity. So the ones that remembered, the ones that re truly remembered were the ones that was like middle-aged and a, a little bit older. So 70 years on, okay, it was like a new generation that was that was there in Babylon. All right, so the vast majority of the people that was in Babylon after the captivity of Babylon was what? They was newborn. They they weren't accustomed. You Because you would think that the, the, the vast population would be what? Would be the youth, quote-unquote. So the vast majority of the people that was at Babylon was what? Was the youth. And so subsequently you had a situation where when the time to go back onto Jerusalem, you had a, a lot of jakes that stayed there. The proof of that is when you go and uh, fast forward into the, the, the media Persian Empire, 
okay, of which the Media Persian Empire assimilated Babylon into being a part of their nation, right? You had Israelites that were still there of Babylon. All right, going to show you what? Going to show you the scattering of the Israelites, okay, just from a fundamental thing of, of being moved into place of captivity. And when the time to return came, some some returned, some did not return, okay? It's just how people move, right? So, which, so the descendants of those Israelites, who knows where those could be, man? Okay, who knows where they could have been? Right? Also, you had merchants. So if you go this way, the Babylonians are taking captives of Judah and they're taking them down to Babylon. There's a thing of merchant, uh, 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 of commerce, they was going to be sold all over the world, man. Okay, and they was going to set up uh, uh, nations wherever they was going to be because Jake gets it in, man. Okay? So it says here, We hanged our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof, for they uh, that cried us away captives were quite carried, carried, carried away but they that carried us away captives, which was the Babylonians at that time, okay, required of us a song. And even now, you, you get the same thing. Okay, who's the choicest, okay, musicians within the world? Who's the choicest uh, sports uh, individuals within the world? It's the Israelites, man. Okay, those are the ones that are out there really pushing, pushing, pushing uh, uh, music, okay, pioneering music, so, so to speak. I mean, Esau done killed the, the pioneering out of it, but I'll say pushing, right? Jake is the one that's really pushing the music industry so-called forward, really backwards in the times that we're living in right now. But you go back onto the 70s, it was the Israelites that was pushing the so-called music industry to the new heights that they was experiencing, okay? So go, continuing here within the book of Psalms, the 137th chapter, it says, they carry, they, For they that carried us away required of us of a song, and they that wasted us required us of mirth. So you was a joker and a clown, and that's how these Edomites look at you, man, because they remember your history, man. Okay, they don't look at you as, oh, this is a great name. No, 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 no. The time for our upliftment, okay, the time for us to be uh, 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 glorified and, 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 and seen in glory hasn't come yet. Okay, this is the time of our help, man. Okay, so it says, um, for they that carried us away uh, uh, required of us a song, and they that wasted us required, us of, uh, required of us mirth. Okay, sing us one of the songs of Zion. Okay, <laughs> that's a fucked up thing to say. Right, you get you get carried away into slavery, and they say, "Look, sing 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 one of those." That's how you know you've been conquered, man. Okay, that's how you know you've been conquered. We gotta we gotta sing one of them songs from um, sing us one of those songs from uh, from from Zion. That's what them. That's what they said, right? Okay, how shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? Okay, and that that's a you know to put a, a, a footnote over there. Okay, a side note, so to speak. Okay. How shall we sing unto the Lord a, 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 a song in, 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 um, if we be in a strange land? Well, it's simple. Check it out. The Lord, okay, uh, 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 no, we, was, we wasn't going to, the Lord was going to have his men out. Okay, the prophets was going to be out there. Same thing happened in Bible when you have prophets out there. I believe um, Ezra was out there. Ezra was out there within Babylon. Okay, uh, I forget where Nehemiah might have been at Babylon, but Daniel certainly was in Babylon. Okay, because he was carried away. He was actually underneath the Babylonian kingdom. So the the, the, uh, uh, the Babylonian king. So you, we was going to always return unto the Lord by way of what? By way of the, the, the different prophets that was going to be set amidst us. And we was going to return back and sing the, the Lord's song. Okay, so that's that's how that was going to be um, um, uh, uh, made, right? All right, so it says, uh, If I forget the old Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. This King David's uh, writing this as well. Okay, because he was a prophet too. <laughs> Right, if if I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to her, the roof of her mouth. All right, if I if I prefer not uh, if, if I prefer not Jerusalem above chief joy, remember all the children of Edom. Okay, the day of Jeru in the day of Jerusalem, who said raise it, which raise it means what to to, to, to erase it. Okay, let's go into this word raise it. It says to uh, to be nude, uncover, leave destitute. Okay, empty. Okay, lay bare. Okay, which is when you raise a city, you, you just you you erase that city from 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 from, uh, from existence, especially in the you know the, the tr traditional sense of the word of of and the traditional construction of, of of those particular cities that there was in the ancient world. Okay, you start a fire within in those particular cities. That's a that city is a goner, Yeah. So it says that uh, remember, O uh, uh, Lord, the children of Edom, right in the day of Jerusalem, we said raise it, raise it, right to the found even to the foundations. Or daughter of Babylon, okay, this is a reference of who? To Edom. Or daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee, right, as thou hast served. Okay, happy shall he be that taketh 
and dashes that little ones against the stones. And that's the that's the that's the uh, 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 thing that's coming up against you, Edomites, man. Okay, the ultimate judgment. Okay, and the scripture says that what you was gonna receive off your own works, man. You was gonna receive okay of that which you have you 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 put out there. So here it is, they've been out there killing people by way of the biological warfare. You got it to where you got Ebola running out, out there, ramping within Africa. Why do you think that's happening, man? Because Esau's playing uh, 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 playing biological warfare wow. against the different nations of the world, oh man. God. Okay, he's playing biological warfare against the people within the world, man. Okay, that's why you got problems. That's why you got all kind of uh, 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 diseases. Okay, that get let loose up there. Okay. In addition to that, they're out and out bombing uh, different countries that you have out there. They're bombing. They they, they, they bomb the hell out of uh, uh, Libya. They bomb the hell out. They bomb the hell out the, the, the hell out of all the world, man. Okay, they got space, space, uh, uh, space debris from the from the explosions that they let loose out there within the skies. Okay, so they bomb the hell out of everything, man. The Lord's gonna return that re that same judgment upon their own heads, man. That's why the scripture says what it says: Happy shall he be that taketh and, and dasheth that, that little ones, because that's what they did to our children. Yeah, they had alligator bait. Okay, so they would try get, make a, make a, a pair of shoes out of alligator skin. Okay, or make a belt out of alligator skin, and they will use a, a Negro or Hispanic or Native American a child, a baby, as the bait for that. That's how they roll, man. Okay, and they're doing the same thing now. They're doing even more dangerous experiments now with you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. They got the Willie Lynch uh, uh, thing going out there, and Esau's basically creating monsters. Okay, off of you uh, uh, Negro, Hispanic, and Native American children, man. Okay. He's making monsters over you through the through the feminism and, and all that and, and the most side is gonna destroy all of them children. So that but that same judgment is gonna be turned back onto Esau's own head. So here back in within the book of Isaiah 54 and 7 it says, Come down and sit in the dust of virgin door of Babylon, sit down on the ground. Okay, there is no throne or door of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate, man. You ain't gonna be untouched anymore. You're gonna be touched, man. Okay, you're gonna be touched, man. Okay. You gonna be, you gonna be, you gonna be uh, 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 roughly like one roughly treated, okay? You gonna be as one that's roughly that's been handled roughly, okay? That's 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 the... <laughs> right. You gonna be as one that's been handled roughly, man. Okay. That's that's what that's what uh, that's what you uh, 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 Edomites are gonna be, man. Here it is. You've been living in the pinnacle of, of of life, okay? You've been living in the pinnacle of life. Life's been sweet to you, man. Okay, like the scripture says, okay, thou shall, uh, you've been, um, uh, you shall have the fatness of the earth. Esau's been doing good out here, man. You got Jake's out here that are feeling sorry for the Edomite. They, they've had it, man. They've had their time, man. They came, they built cars, okay, they built palaces, okay, they lived in them. Now it's time for them to go out there in the pits, man. Like the scripture says, the scripture actually says pits. They're going to go down onto the pit, okay. That's what they're gonna be doing. Okay, the first job the scripture talks about, the first job that the first uh, 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 form of employment that our slaves is gonna have is to bury the dead. Okay, because there's gonna be a lot of dead within the earth by way of the warfare that the Lord's gonna let loose out here, by way of um uh by way of the, the, the Lord destroying a lot of people. Okay, the book of Amos, the ninth chapter and the eighth verse says that what? Okay, the eyes of the Lord power upon the sinful kingdom and he was going to destroy it from off the face thereof. Saving after he wasn't going to destroy the house of Jacob. So there's going to be a lot of death out here. So job number one is going to be what? Job number one is going to be bury the dead. Okay? So that's what these Edomites is going to be doing. Because sure, we surely ain't going to be touching the dead. Okay? We're going to be too royal for that. There's going to be too... There's, there's, the, job, the job of royalty, okay, is not to live large. It's to administer judgment. And that's what we're going to be doing. Administering judgment. But the benefits of administering judgment is that you get to live large. <laughs> okay? So continuing here in the book of Isaiah 47 and 2, it says, Take the millstone and grind and cover the locks and make bare the legs and cover the thighs and pass over the rivers. And that's the discovery that's being made on Esau. And people are discovering this man ain't so prestige, man. He ain't so prestige. Okay? So therefore, they're looking at him in a certain kind of way. Now, like, hold on a minute, man. You're supposed to be at the pinnacle, at the height of um, right, sophistication. Try to open this ball cap with a busted up hand. Do it. Okay, you're supposed to be at the pinnacle of civilization. You're supposed to be so smart. How is it? The earth is not yielding a strength onto you. Okay? That's what's been that's that's the question people are beginning to, to, to realize. The, the, the sentiment people are coming to the conclusion of, man. Alright? And what, who's at who's at the forefront of exposing this man? The men of Great Millstone. We're the ones, if you notice, when it comes to 
speaking about Esau. Okay, we speak about Esau the most, man. Okay, these other camps, they don't be speaking about Esau like that. We be we be going in on East, on in Esau, man. Okay? We be telling you people that exactly what this what manner of man this is. This is the devil that the Bible speaks about, man. Okay, this is the, the whom the whom the world calls a uh, 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 shatan, man, the adversary, adversary of life, man. This is the man, okay? So it says here, so we're at the forefront of uncovering, okay, the secrets of Esau. The secret things of Esau now are sought up. That's within the book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter, which I might get that next. That might be a good scripture to get to next. In fact, what we're going to do is, we're going to go into the book of Isaiah, the 13th chapter, and then the 14th chapter. And if I go get back to finishing the book of James 5 and 1, I mean, I suppose the point within the book of James 5 has uh, 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 been made, okay? So it says, uh, that nakedness shall be uncovered, okay, uh, that shame shall be seen, I'll take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. So what's the nakedness being uncovered, okay? How they set up Babylon was through witchcraft, okay? Washington DC, there's a lot of uh, uh, um, uh, um, symbol symbolisms that are associated with witchcraft, okay? The, the owl, Moloch, the Bohemian Grove, okay, the dollars, the dollars got all kind of demonic uh, symbolisms on it, okay, uh, 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 symbolisms that go back onto what? That go back onto ancient Babylon, okay, the ancient Egyptians, okay, the, the symbols of their gods, okay, which was all heathenistic and witchcraft, okay, and if it was heathenistic and witchcraft, what you have to understand about a lot of those heathenistic witchcraft uh, customs that they had was that what? They had customs that they was killing people. One of, that was one of their major things that they had. Okay, was was sacrificing people. That's why you see people go missing on during Halloween, of which Halloween that goes back onto paganism. Soko Christmas goes back onto paganism. Easter goes back onto paganism. Matter of fact, when you see where all of the holidays, the so-called uh, 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 um, um, national holidays, where the national holidays land, uh, land okay, within the so-called Western world, where the national holidays land, it lands perfectly with what's known as the satanic, okay, calendar, okay, the the, the witch's calendar. Okay, well you got it to where you got so-called summer that lines with what the summer uh, uh, summer solstice, man. Okay, the so-called longest day within the within the uh, within the year, and soon after you got what you got ha so-called Halloween. Okay, the summer solstice. Okay, we got to change clocks or whatever, whatever. Okay, that lines perfectly with what with, with the with the with the, uh, with, 